Let's make some fire. Hey guys, Dave Anderson. Welcome back to this four part mini series on how to build a waste oil burner. This is a departure from my regular stuff on the channel, but occasionally I like to go ahead and do a little tinkering and whatnot, fabrication on the side, have a fun little project. Anyway, this is it. So here guys is some stuff that you're going to need. I'll make sure to put everything in the description that I actually bought at the store so that you can kind of figure it out, but it's uh, you know, pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. Um, the only expensive part here, of course, is the copper tubing, which I didn't have laying around, so I had to buy a roll of it, which is way more than what I'm going to need. Um, and I actually found a pipe at, uh, got lucky, found a uh, black pipe here at, at uh, Washington Surplus, got it for five bucks. What a score. All right, let's get on with it. I'm going to go ahead and start at the top of where the oil would be coming in. So I have a little PEX, which is, this is half inch to half inch. PEX tubing, half inch would go on top there, and that is the delivery of the oil. And then I have this gate valve, which is a half inch gate valve. Now, these do not have to be uh, Teflon taped. Uh, it's under no pressure whatsoever. However, if you have OCD and you want to do it, go ahead and that's fine. Um, but uh, that is going to go in there. I'm not going to put it just in here because I still have to prep this uh, gate valve. Um, and uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. And then right below, right below the gate valve will go this little spacer. And all this is is a half inch, uh, you know, threaded both sides, half inch. And that is just to take the gate valve and put it into this T, which is half inch, half inch. And this one happens to be three quarter. See, okay, so it goes right on top just like that. Now I still have to prep this as well because although this does, this is my sight glass, it's not easy to see oil dripping through that hole there. It's much easier if you drill a hole in the back of this and then you can see the oil drip through there a whole lot easier. So I still have to prep this. Then on the um, very bottom of this, it'll actually go into this half inch pipe. But the oil is not traveling down that half inch pipe. It's actually traveling down copper at that point because you actually want a pipe inside of a pipe. So I have this reducer and it is to basically have the oil drip into here, a little bit larger cup. And then this corresponds to my 3 8 inch inside diameter uh, copper tubing. And the copper tube will be inside of the black pipe. And that will be my pipe in pipe uh, setup and that will put the oil, uh, drip the oil right into the center of the, or in the proximity of the actual burning area. All right. All right, here is the uh, pro tip, and this is to get this to drip a little, um, very small stream if you want it to, and it's a little bit more stable dripping. So on one edge, and the very, very bottom edge, um, the bottom part of where it actually drips from, you want a very, very small uh, groove, very small. On the other side, you want a larger groove. 
and this helps funnel the oil down and allows it to um, pour instead of drip, giving it a better stabilization as far as how it works. So I'm going to take just a little uh, triangular shaped file and just file just a tiny little part out of the front of this and then because it needs to be a little bit thicker I might I might take a, a grinder and, and grind out just a little bit on the back side here we go all right that was pretty easy and I was able to get some uh, very fine uh, movements and I didn't grind anything out that I didn't want it want to so I don't recommend doing this with an, an angle grinder but uh, there is the back side and there is the front side so this is the this is the side that it will be dripping from and this is the back side of where the oil will be coming from All right, as you can see, it still seals up. And that's why you only want to take just a little nick out of that side. That in essence is how to do the drip system. Now I'm gonna wait to cut this pipe because I wanna be able to route the oil and have it attached to the drum and route the oil uh, the correct way. And I don't have that built yet. So I'm gonna have to wait to, uh, to fabricate the um, outside tube that goes into the burner. But uh, I'll make sure to show that at the very end when I'm doing the uh, part four, which is actually the barrel that I'm going to be cutting and turning that into a cooking surface or heating surface, actually both. So until next time, guys, stay with me. This is part three, moving on to part four. I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless. Hey guys, thanks for watching the channel. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, click on that like button right down there. If you'd like to subscribe, click on my face. And as always, leave a comment. That is how you support this channel. Thank you so very much. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, don't forget to click another video now.